Hi guys, it's your girl B. Michelle coming at you with another Dollar Tree DIY. So I'm starting out with some of these bowls that I picked up from the Dollar Tree and I'm using some of the Fix All. I'm actually going around the rim of the bowl with the Fix All and I'm going around the entire rim. I will not use any hot glue on this part. And so I'm taking another bowl and I'm connecting the two bowls together. So I'm just looking at it and I'm making sure that it's lined up properly and I'm going to do this with all of the sets of bowls that I have. So I'm using a total of six bowls per lamp. So I'm actually doing two lamps. So I've set that to the side and I continue to build up the other sets. So next I'm taking the sets and I'm using the, the fix all again and I'm going around the um, top of the bowls. Well, it's really the bottom, but since it's joined together, I'm going around um, with some of the fix all. And I will follow up with the hot glue on this part. And I'm just putting a generous amount of hot glue in the center, not on the part where I put the fix all. And I'm joining the bowls together. So I'm building a set of three bowls, stacking a set of three bowls. So it's a total of six bowls together. So next I'm taking some of these acrylic gems. These are the diamond shaped acrylic gems. And I'm taking some of the hot glue. I'm actually gonna run uh, run some hot glue around where the bowls will join together. That's gonna give it some more security. So I'm just taking the hot glue and just kind of going around it. And I'm actually gonna take those acrylic gems and I'm gonna put the glue on the, the point of the acrylic gem. These are the acrylic gem that looks like the little diamonds. So I'm gonna take the glue and um, actually apply it to the back side of the gem so I can join it in the, in the seam here. So basically I'm just sticking it in there. And then I'm gonna follow these steps. I'm gonna go all the way around until I meet the other gem the first gem that I place. And if you put these close together, you should be able to fit all of them around that cent around the circle. Uh, all, all of them should fit um, properly. So I'm just showing you two here and I'm gonna move on to the next step. So this is how it should look. So next I'm taking one of these um, bowls from the Dollar Tree and I'm also gonna use a real lampshade on this um, project. So I'm taking one of the bowls and I'm using the little, I don't know what you call it, but for this lampshade, this is the kind of connection that it came with. So I'm using my solder, um, solder knife gun, whatever you call it. I'm using it to kind of burn a hole into the plastic so that I can fit this little connection piece that goes on the lampshade. I'm trying to um, put a hole in it just big enough for it to fit through here. And I want it to kind of fit and go through to the other side just a little bit, not a whole lot. And I'm also going to, um, I'm just gonna continue to try to get the right size hole. You wanna start out with a little bit at a time because you don't want to make it too big. Um, it, it will be a little bit bigger than you want it to be in order for it to um, slide through. But I'm taking some, I will take some of the hot glue to fill in for where the hole was a little bit too big. So I'm just basically trying to work, um, work the hole through, work it through to where it won't be um, way too big. So just, you have to just continue to play with it and then so I'm taking the hot glue and I'm placing some of the hot glue on the inside of the bowl where the, the um, where I use the solder gun. And I'm showing where it, it hangs over just a little bit on the outside, on the bottom of the bowl. And I also followed up with hot glue on the bottom of the bowl as well. So it should look something like this once you have all of that done. And I'm showing you an inside shot. So it's gonna have a little bit of um, piece that hangs out on the bottom. So next, to conceal that part, this is optional. I'm just taking some of the um, hot glue and some of the acrylic gems 
and I'm just placing more hot glue to um, add these acrylic gems to try to cover up where it sticks out on the bottom. Just trying to create a little design here. Next, I'm taking the solder knife, solder gun here, and I'm going to burn another little hole around the bowl um, so that I can place the crystals. So I'm taking it and I'm just putting a small little hole, a very small hole, just enough to fit the little, um, the little metal piece into the hole. And then once I fit it in the hole, I'm just gonna bend it at the end so that it can stay in place. And these are the um, crystals that I had from the previous DIY. Um, the previous video that I did, it was um, a chandelier that I had gotten from Banggood. So this is how it looks. And they do sell crystals um, outside of just the chandelier as well. So you can buy crystals from Banggood. So next I'm taking um, some of the bling wrap or diamond wrap and I'm just using one little strip just to conceal uh, where the two bowls are joined together. Also, I'm taking some of this blue, navy blue uh, paint that I have previously just to cover up um, the bottom of the bowl where it had the little uh, discoloration from the way the bowl was made. So I'm taking some of the um, napkin rings and yay, I found napkin rings. I haven't seen napkin rings in Dollar Tree in forever. So I'm taking some of the napkin rings and I'm using some hot glue and I'm joining three of the napkin rings together. And I do apologize for the loud noise, you guys. Someone was sitting up under the hair dryer um, while I was recording. So I'm sorry for that loud noise that you guys are hearing. So just following up with these napkin rings, um, just going over it with the hot glue and joining three, I'm connecting three of the napkin rings together. So next I'm taking um, some to fix all and I'm putting it on the bottom. Well, this is gonna be the bottom. So I'm placing it in the center and you can bling out your napkin rings however you desire to do it. I did put a little bit of um, diamond wrap around the napkin rings. So I decided to go ahead and add another layer of the um, crystal. So this layer, I went down just a little bit lower than the first layer so that it can hang just a little bit um, longer like this. So I'm going to um, go and I'm going to place them. I'm going to skip two of the, pre the, um, the first set and I'm going to place um, one like every two and then I'll place one and so on until it's complete. So I'm just straightening out my gems here, my crystals actually. So next I'm taking this um, cup here. This is a cup. Um, I think these came from Target maybe. They're nine ounce cups. There are some plastic cups and this was um, just, I thought about it when I was, get, got ready to use the paint and I just needed some water to use the paint. So I used, grabbed one of these cups and I was like, okay, well this may work with this project. So I'm just taking some of the diamond wrap and I'm going around the top um, of the cup. But I'm using two rolls of the diamond wrap, but I'm actually only applying glue to one of the rolls and the other roll is actually hanging over the cup. Because when I um, join this, together with the napkin ring. It leaves just a little bit of space. It doesn't touch the um, the bowl itself. So once I put this, um, the two rows of the diamond wrap around the cup, letting one row hang off, and I used the hot glue to adhere this cup. I just thought it gave a more um, decorative touch to it with placing this cup on top of the napkin ring. This is actually optional. You can skip this step if you want to, but I just didn't like the way the bowl um, sat without something going around the rim of the bowl. So I used that cup and it basically filled up that space. So next I'm taking some more of the glue and I'm adhering the, the piece that has the crystals onto the cup and the napkin rings. 
So I'm taking more napkin rings and I'm gluing it to the back of this light here. And you can use whatever type of lighting you, you'd like to use. If you want to use fairy lights and run it all the way through, you can use as much, as much lighting as, as you want to use. I'm just using this push light and I'm also going to, also going to use two more of the little clip on lights, but um, you can use as much as you want. This, that's uh, all of that is optional when it comes to how you decide you want to light up your lamp. So basically I'm just taking the hot glue and I'm fitting this in between the little piece that goes on the lamp shade. So I'm also using these lights here and I'm just taking it off of the little connection piece here. And I'm just gonna use a little dip, a little dab of the hot glue and just glue it to the side on the inside of the bowl. So like that. Now I'm adding a lampshade. And this lampshade, um, it came from Ross, but it actually came on another lamp that I actually have in my bedroom, but I have a different uh, lampshade on it. So these are some extra lampshades that I had, and I just decided to go ahead and use it this time. So I'm just putting a little, the little connection piece, and this is how it looks. So this is the final look, you guys. Um, it is still daylight outside, and I thought I would have had this video up while it was still daylight, but I didn't. So, um, this is the final look, just showing you the look of how I staged it together. Um, and that piece is on the wall too. I did um, record how that piece came from a thrift store. It was $6.99 and it's actually like the medallion pieces that you put in, this, um, in the ceiling to go with the fixtures in the ceiling. But I chose to put it on the wall and I just added, I spray painted it and I added a mirror to the center. So this is a look of the lamp close up and I'm just showing you on the inside of the lamp as well. So that's it you guys, just showing you um, how everything came out. So if you like this um, project, please give it a thumbs up um, and don't forget to um, leave comments and share, share, share. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so. Um, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any videos that I upload. And I thank you for each and every one of you. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you for viewing and subscribing and all of your kind compliments. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Oh, and also I plan on um, doing a video with um, viewers who have created projects from uh, my channel. So if you are interested in sending me pictures, please send it to my email. It's bmichellepar at gmail.com. And it's Michelle with two L's. That's B-M-I-C-H-E-L-L-E-P-A-R at gmail.com. So if you'd like to have your pictures included on projects that you have created that I've done, um, that you recreated from my channel, um, please send me pictures and I plan to do a video with different subscribers or viewers who have recreated things that I've done. So that's it for now, you guys. And until next time, bye.